in changing that agreement go to a couple of the points that the member for Denison raised. Firstly, uh, the MPI talks about a housing strategy. Well, one of the conditions of the new National Housing and Homelessness Agreement, which the Nor Northern Territory has recently signed up to, and we are uh, very thankful for that, is that every state and territory have a housing strategy. Now, it might be a surprise to some members in the House, but not every jurisdiction in this country even had a housing strategy to start with. So, uh, in making that request, uh, I, I note that some jurisdictions have been a little tentative, is probably a diplomatic way of putting it, in agreeing to a housing strategy, but I think we've got them all over the line and they've agreed to at least have a housing strategy themselves. And why is that very important, Member for Denison? It's important because, as you rightly point out, the issues that you're facing now in Tasmania, the issues that you're facing and that you've referred to specifically in Hobart, will be in many respects unique. I mean, many of the issues that were uh, issues in my electorate and continue to be issues in my electorate in outer suburban Melbourne, uh, particularly for first home buyers, uh, were similar issues to what was being faced in much of Sydney. Now, those issues were different to the issues that people were facing in regional Queensland or in Western Australia or in South Australia for that matter. So having every jurisdiction have its own housing strategy with housing uh, into the market. Two other aspects of uh, the government's housing affordability plans have been the first home super saver scheme, a tax cut for first home buyers, a tax cut to encourage first home buyers to save rather than saving through uh, their bank account, they save through concessional contributions in superannuation they get a huge tax cut on the way through, and they also get additional earnings in their super fund. The only condition is that money has to be used to buy a house. Um, and uh, it's $15,000 a year, a maximum of $30,000, $60,000 for a couple, uh, which we know will uh, accelerate the saving rate for first home buyers by about 30 per cent, uh, because one of the issues for first home buyers is as you're saving, the market has kept rising. Finally, our downsizing policy, which allows uh, those who are downsizing from a family home to contribute up to $300,000 per person, that's $600,000 for a couple, uh, into their superannuation, if that's the proceeds of downsizing, because we don't